Good morning. Another day, another snippets, and we are coming to the end of our dead tree. <laughs> right, so you can see what I did while you were away is I got rid of my blue pen and I did another daisy. And this time these petals were fa facing up, these ones are faced down. And also I, I did another little dry bush <laughs> um, out of my brown to link in. And then I'm just going to tie in this green. And so when I'm designing something or working on something, I try and form triangles. And so they don't have to be equilateral triangles. They just are triangles. So if you see this sort of mustard color, I'm going to come over and lob some on over here of that color and down here. So that's going to give me my triangle. One, you know, there's my triangle over there. And that'll just tie everything in for me. What I'm planning to do next is I'm going to just add some little brown smudges in here and then I'm going to do another one of these over here so that you can see. And you know composition wise the artist out there will actually say well uh, Jenny I'm um, sorry but that daisy bush is way too big for your big your sorry your dead tree. Hands down absolutely I agree with you. However, this is not a work of art. It is just a little something something. It's a little snippet. These are just scraps of fabric. It's not going to change the world. It's not going to hang in the Smithsonian Museum. I've enjoyed making it and I'm happy with it. So, yes, you know, that is kind of not rule of thirds. Well, you know, <laughs> with this much. But anyway, what I, so over here, I have done these long kind of straight stitches here, which I did on the side. But I, I kind of added an extra spoke to my elbow over there. And what I'm also going to do is simply do a couching stem. I'm going to couch this one long one, just so that she's just a tad more awkward than a, just a, a dead straight stitch. So if I kind of do that to her, does she please me a little bit better? Yes, she does. But what's happened now is it's given me this negative space here, which I don't really mind because I, remember, I've got to add some of that brown to here. So that's going to work quite well for me. Now, remember when I said that I needed to form my triangle. So let's just get rid of this green because I'm done with her for now. And thread up with the tiny well I've got a smidge on left so I will use it so what I need to do what I'm wanting to do is bring that mustardy down here and then trans pop it down over there for me okay let's do a nice long one over here come up sorry about the dog <laughs> Live TV, I say. I don't think I'm going to edit it out anyway. I wonder what all your dogs will think of that. Can you see what I'm doing? So coming up here, nice long one, just a stab stitch. So all I have to do now, shall I give her a conk? No. Let's come from here and give her a nice long, let's get moving. Okay. So we'll end that off at the back because I'm running out of thread. And I'm using up all my... This is going to be interesting when I cut this off. <laughs> Don't worry, I've done it before. Many times, many times. Now, where is that brown? Have I dropped it? Nope, I think it's this one. Okay, we're going to do this. Sorry, this is a bit boring. And I'm already 12 minutes. I don't like these long snippets. Okay, back there. So you can see I've given this a really long um, start, but that doesn't matter because what that's going to do is it's going to give me, it's allowed me space to add, to get height on this back down. Okay, oh, look at that. You're giving me another space there. It doesn't matter if I'm going into this breaking the line here it's perfectly fine beautiful here 
come back here there we go do we need to gonk this way I reckon let's gonk her in this way nice come up over here nice and long I think that dog's eating something now <laughs> that's gonna be interesting wonder what she's chewing mm. that's way too straight Jennifer doesn't matter one last one I think then we're nearly done back down there she definitely needs a little gonk or something too predictably straight what shall I do see how this is very straight there isn't it I'm liking her she doesn't bother me all that much but she's just a bit straight there so let's give this a gonk and then add some straight ones back down in there give her a little bit of a nudge over one more from there to there and I am happy there you go so we've got at the bottom we've got one two three four five uneven which is very important we've only got one tree and one daisy bush although there's three things happening here plus I formed a triangle of sorts I might have to adjust that which I think I will do when you're not watching I'll go back and get that color and just drop that down and then also what I'm going to do is scatter my um lazy days I mean sorry not my lazy days is my colonial knots and don't be predictable don't keep them you know evenly spaced kind of mess them up because that's what I did with my 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 leaves on this they were sort of alternating going down way too structured it made my this look very long so I just came in and messed them up messed the leaves up a little bit so there we go the next time I see you final little tweaks and I promise you that this will be finished Thanks for watching.